Well, hello there. What's up, guys? Today, I wanted to go over this. So, Stephanie has this specific little corner that just doesn't really make sense in the home. And I told her maybe possibly building some shelves that would be rounded off. So, like, in the corner. So, she'd have some corner shelving for storage. And she did like that idea. And so, today, we are going to execute it. And I want to show you guys how to build corner shelves for your home. I think I'm just going to try and film like with my tripod or something like that, but I am going to be going over to my friend Stephanie's home and I obviously don't want to be filming a lot of her home uh, due to privacy and all that. I am going to try to film the project as best as I can, but let's get started with today's video. So in case you guys for some weird reason have something similar, what she has with this corner piece that actually just worked out perfect to put shelving. Well then stay tuned. All right guys, so we are here in Stephanie's home and right now I'm showing you the little corner area that I do wanna install some shelves in. So right now we just have some toilet paper right here. So we obviously wanna put some cute corner shelves. So we have lots of storage for the bathroom. And this is part of the hallway, but I think that with just the way the layout is like this, we really should put something here. So I think some shelves will look really cute. We'll put some decorative items on the shelf as well. So let's go ahead and get started with today's project. So the first step to doing this is measuring. Measuring is key for a success. So we just did the measurement for this side and we're gonna do about 17 inches. We're gonna leave about a three inch space from the edge of the wall in so that it obviously looks like shelving. And then from here, we're measuring about, we're gonna again go in about three inches or so. I would say the spacing from here to here and not the trim. So we could do it again about 17. Yeah. So we'll do 17 by 17 is our measurement. Now we are going to cut about four or five of these and we are going to round off the edge so it's not super square or anything like that. So you don't run into with the shelving when you're walking by because again, this is part of a hallway. So this will come out and then it'll be rounded super nice so we're going to be using this black and decker jigsaw we got this on clearance i believe at menards for about 29 dollars and you can go ahead and pick up a big pack of these blades this was about 22 dollars and you get about every blade for any project so it is a good deal you're also going to need a leveler and a tape measure and then a sharpie or pen or pencil here is our piece of plywood that we're going to work with and this is about this is about one inch thick plywood this was free plywood so just use what you guys got we're going to be measuring out 17 by 17 and then that is going to create our square then we're going to round it off to create the edging so i'm thinking we are going to actually use these pieces for the little ledge that the shelf will sit on because these are not going to be floating shelves unfortunately we are just going to create just simple shelving but i am thinking about not going quite 17 inches for the piece that will hold it up i think we're going to go about 15 inches that way it's kind of hidden back as far back as possible That's okay, we got our first piece that's gonna go underneath the shelving. All right, so right now we're trying to figure out how many shelves we're able to fit in here with proper spacing. Now and we know on the bottom, this, this toilet paper obviously won't be here. We're gonna be putting, what, cat litter down there? Yeah. So let's go ahead and measure up. Actually, let's just measure the entire how length. How big was that hamper thing I bought? Do you still have that picture? So this bottom Touch piece, we Ow. are, Okay, so the bottom shelf, we actually have a cat litter bag. Well, a bag that will fit the cat litter in. That's about 19.7 inches tall. So we want to create that bottom shelf about a 21 inch clearance. That way we have lots of room down here for that cat litter. So oh, we did 21 inches. That's going to be our first bottom shelf. Then from there, I think we're going to do about either a foot or maybe a foot and a half spacing so we should be able to fit about three more shelves in here 
But we decided to go ahead and use this patio table as our like our stencil, I guess, to trace out the round part of the table. So we're just basically gonna line it up with the lines we marked from 17 to, from the corner to here and 17 from here to here. So where those marks are is where we're gonna line that table up right up against it and just trace around with a pen. got the piece cut out but for some reason this thing was kind of like jerking me one way which I missed the cut line I do think it looks nice but it's obviously I don't know if you can see this here I'll turn it around this little piece here I just need to go back over this right here on the line just in this little section and then we will have our corner shelf now we're gonna just go ahead and give those pieces a really good sand Sand them down. So right now we're gonna go ahead and start putting the shelving system in. We have our little bracket thing we made to hold the shelf up. So we again, we went three inches or so away from the edge. So right here is about three inches. And then we have our leveler just to make sure that it is nice and level. And so I'm just trying to make sure that it does look straight. I think that looks nice. We have the first shelf put in, so we just put our pieces in, measuring about three inches from the side and over here as well. Put our two pieces in that hold the shelf. So now it's just laying on top and I'm gonna get some finishing nails. Oh. And we're just gonna put the finishing nails along the edges right here, just so that the shelf is nice and secure. Once we are done installing all the pieces, evenly spaced, we're gonna paint them white. We went ahead and installed the rest of the shelving and we have five shelves, corner shelves. So what's left to do is paint this and put your baskets and everything else on here. So all I did was put two screws in the back to anchor it and then I put a nail in the front of each side just to anchor it down into the little piece we cut here so it's nice and sturdy and it won't just fall off. And then here's our spacing down here. It's about 20, 24 inches or so. So we have lots of space down here to put our cat litter or anything else we wanna disguise and put away and then put baskets and things like that all up on these shelves. And if you want to paint this, go ahead and paint it. Make sure you sand this down, paint it. Obviously do the sanding prior to installing this. And when you put the nails in, I just use finishing nails about an inch and a half long. Make sure they don't obviously come out through the bottom here. And the same thing with your screws in the back. I went in at an angle slightly, that way they would go into the wood and not split the wood. And as you're going down each one, just do your measuring from the top shelf down or vice versa with the measuring and don't install your top piece this piece here, you know, the round, the shelving. Don't install that just yet. You wanna get all your little bracket pieces on first and then start with the bottom shelf and work your way up. That way you're able to get in here, do your screwing, your nailing, and then go to the next one. Yeah, with this too. Mm-hmm. 